Okay guys, I've got uh, two coats of the latex on. I'm starting to get a feel for how thick you can apply each coat before it you know, snarls up. I'm going to have to do a little bit more before I get it, but uh, for instance I just put a dab of it on my finger here so I could keep an eye on it, see if it still stays wet for a long time when it starts getting rubbery. You can see it's getting rubbery, but the main part of it's still wet. So it likes to be put on real thin. But uh, one thing you can do to strengthen your little latex molds is you use some regular medical gauze. I just took some out of my first aid kit here. I'm going to cut some little pieces to put on it. I've got, some, I've got these little pieces of gauze. See, that's still wet. Now what I want to do is I kind of want to start reinforcing this flange. Okay. Yeah, it's still wet so I can push it in there. And, uh, I've already got the first coat is dry so you're not going to see a print of the gauze. I hope. <laughs> And uh, just put a little bit up in here. The idea is, is that uh, when I peel this thing off of this piece of corian here, I'm going to need to have it fairly strong. It doesn't tear, rip, so I'm pulling it apart. And that's what the gauze is going to add, that layer of strength that might otherwise be missing. And I can, uh, see, I might have to cut that. Right, put a little piece right up on the, so I'm kind of getting up onto the edge of my plasta, plastiline or whatever the hell they want to call it, uh, clay model here. And I'm getting, kind of getting up onto it. And you can push it through. It's almost like fiberglass. You know, the way you lay down fiberglass, you kind of pat it into the stuff. And if it's too dry, then you put some more on it. But I don't want to uh, put more latex on right now, because unlike a catalyzed finish, latex needs air to dry. So right now, I'm going to leave that just the way it is. And for the actual surface of the lip there, I'm going to put another coat on, and then I'll put a little piece of gauze right in the center of it. And we'll just keep going with this. This is a very time-consuming process. It'll probably take an hour between coats to be able to do anything. So it's one of these things you do while you're doing other things. And after I've gotten more latex down, more gauze down, more latex down, more latex down, then I'll finally just let it cure overnight, and then I will peel it off and I should have enough strength all around it that I'll be able to have a relatively stiff mold so it won't warp or deflect too much and then when I pour my casting stuff in there that it won't totally screw up. Once again we're uh, preparing to do some casting with the easy cast system here. We're using some premium latex or uh, liquid rubber using a throwaway brush. I used some clay which you can model with. I was just fooling around. This didn't exactly come out the way I wanted but uh, working on getting an eyeball now. I want to cast a, an acrylic eyeball. So I'll be working on that until I get that right. But anyway, we'll be back to this project in a little bit.